Hello again, welcome back. I am chef and author Amalia Moreno Damgar. I hope you have enjoyed our two previous uh, videos where I made uh, two drinks, Paloma and Fresco de Piña. And I also made an appetizer, uh, Churrasco a la Amalia. If you haven't had a chance uh, to view these videos, you can head over to Women's Venture Facebook or Instagram page to check them out. Today, I will be making a quick uh, and easy appetizer that I often uh, resort to when I entertain, and I change it according to uh, the needs of, uh, of my menu. So this time, uh, we are going to be making uh, shrimp uh, in garlic butter, and, um, and in, we're going to uh, pair that with uh, spicy guacamole and we're going to have some chips uh, with it. This is a scrumptious uh, appetizer. And let me show you how to make it. So boquitas de camarón is the name of this dish. And it has um, two main components, the shrimp and the guacamole. And the guacamole is Guatemalan style guacamole. And I am going to start with this nice avocado. And I am going to cut it like this so it's easier um, to uh, get it out and then um, we have a choice uh, whether we want to mash it or just leave it chunky the way it is so um, I, I do both um, depending on how I feel um, about uh, that I want my guacamole to look like I'm going to remove this uh, pit over here and so I'm going to do the same thing And we're just cutting some uh, squares. And now we are going to, well, I'm going to squeeze it out like this so it's easier and faster. One more time. And this is um, Guatemalan style guacamole, as I indicated earlier. And what it is, is um, we're going to be adding some onion, and this is shredded onion. That it's uh, easier to blend uh, with uh, the guacamole, rather than uh, chopping it, you can chop it if you like. Um, then we're going to be adding some oregano, some salt, this is um, habanero pepper, and they look like this, and they are very fiery. This is one of the uh, spiciest peppers uh, there is. So if you want to start with a little bit, uh, you can do that, and then add more taste and add more. Um, and last but not least, we're going to season with uh, um, the pepper and the lime juice. So now we're going to Fold this together, and this is our guacamole base for our appetizer. I am going to get this uh, prep dishes out of the way, and then I am going to move on to making the shrimp. So I have a pan already preheated. And I have uh, all the ingredients already prepped on this side. To make the shrimp, we start with uh, canola oil. We am going to swirl that around. And then I am going to add some um, butter. I'm just going to let that melt in here a little bit. I'm going to grab a spatula. And we want to add the canola oil first so that the butter doesn't burn. So we're melting that uh, quickly here and I'm just going to add my shrimp and I'm going to put it in one layer so that it cooks faster. Uh, while this is cooking, um, I am going to add some garlic right here on the side to start making a nice garlic sauce. 
So I'm just going to spread that here. They notice that the shrimp are really turning uh, pink. So this is a very quick appetizer and that uh, will take a few minutes to make. And this is depending on the, the size of shrimp uh, that, you, that you use. So basically, uh, you want to cook the shrimp, um, I'll say al dente, because you want them to be uh, cooked, but you don't want them to be overcooked. So you want them to be um, nice and tender, not rubbery. So if they're overcooked, they become rubbery. So now we have a sauce on the bottom. that we are going to season with lime juice, or it can be lemon juice. And I am going to add some salt, and I call this the magic seasoning, so the magic ingredients, because you can have the most wonderful dish in the world, but if, if, it, if it's not seasoned properly with salt and pepper, uh, then that can make a whole uh, difference. So at this point, um, the shrimp is already cooked, and I have a, a dish to transfer it to right here. If you could smell uh, this um, dish, um, you would, I think you would love it uh, because it's a, a butter-garlic combination, and you can build this sauce further. Um, you could actually um, add some wine, um, at this point and uh, reduce it a little bit um, and you could have other um, add other alcohol here too you could do tequila you could do agave uh, you could do champagne and so on so the other part of this dish is, this is um, what I call red bell pepper confetti just finely um, diced bell pepper and we're just barely uh, cooking it uh, in the residual heat to finish our dish. We're going to pour it on top of the shrimp. And I'm going to move my pan right here. I'm going to bring my shrimp over here and I'm going to show you how I like to serve this. So I have this nice, tray that I like to, um, I'm going to move this over here for a little bit. This has a little bit of residual heat left, so I don't I want to make sure that it doesn't burn. Um, so I just want to put this here and I'm going to transfer my tray over here. You can see that my shrimp is already there. So I am going to finish the shrimp with some cilantro and I'm going to bring my guacamole right here on the other bowl. Then I am going to finish this garnish. Um, this is a cilantro. And I'm just going to take it like this in my hand, and I have my scissors right next to me. Uh, you could also chop this, but this is much easier. Um, and uh, we are garnishing. And there it is, boquitas de camarón. So you will grab a chip, you dip it, in the um, avocado, um, in the guacamole, and then you can um, grab one of the shrimp, you can put it on top, you can serve this on a plate, and then um, you give your guests a napkin, an appetizer plate, a little fork, and then um, they can enjoy this nice boquitas de camarón um, appetizer. And there it is, boquitas de camarón. Please stay tuned for the next video for another scrumptious appetizer. Until next time.